Final race on Saturday is the 10th and the last we run 1600 at Class 3. The best feature last start winner, only an extra £3 for it, so we joys last five have all been on the all weather. Star Contact has placed two from three course and distance. HK Dragon visor off, Shadow Roll goes on, Run Run Buddy cannot draw a gate. Further down we've got Eternal Bloom with the tongue tie on, Universal Horizon a third and a fifth at his two starts course and distance and War Weapon went the 1600 for the first time last time Tom, it was down in grade but he bolted in. He certainly did and uh, was able to get his maiden Hong Kong win but uh, poor old Run Run Buddy uh, will have to work again here from barrier number 14, got tired last uh, time out, Celtic Times uh, unpresuming you think they'll go forward with him this week Paul? Yeah from barrier number 3 they, they went back, uh, he was slightly slow away so I think their hands were tied last time. Uh, but um, there was no pace in that race and he ran a really fast sectional so I think he'll be a lot closer. Universal Horizon should get a nice run as well. It is an interview first up though for the last race. The horse is happy together, the jockey is Zach Purton. Zach, happy together as you're riding the final race. Um, you've been on board him the, the last couple of times. Um, last time out, a huge run given the, the run that he unfortunately had. Yeah, I've ridden him two times now. I've given him two bad rides so Hopefully I'm due to give him a good one, um, but we're drawing a really bad gate, uh, so I don't know where we're going to be in the run. I'll see how the track is riding on the day and um, try and assess that and maybe change things a little bit, but uh, I'm due to give him a chance, aren't I? <laughs> well, they do say third time lucky, Zach. Um, the hood went on last time out. Uh, do you have an influence in that, in that decision with that going on? Uh, the start before he travelled really strongly, um, too strongly, and I just found myself in an awkward spot because I was, I was trying to manage him instead of ride, riding the race. So last time the hood went on and he relaxed a lot better and he gave me a good ride but when Alexa took off and I wanted to get on his back and, and be brought into it, he just failed to respond and, and pick up when I needed him to and then obviously I got caught in that position where I just got pushed off the track so um, you know it might have worked too well on him but uh, he needed to relax if, he was, if we were going to find the best out of him. Um, the form of which has worked out quite nicely. The best Peach and Invincible Missile have come out of the race as well, so he certainly comes in with, with claims on paper, that's for sure. He does, but like I said, the, the gates are worrying. It's just going to depend on the position I can get. But the horse is going well. I rode him in some work recently, and obviously his form tells you that he's going good. So hopefully we can get some even luck and give him his chance. He doesn't look too far off a win, happy together, but he's going to have to stop horses, Tom, like the best peach who charged down the outside from second last as we roll the replay. Yeah, and he'd been knocking on the door, this horse, uh, the best uh, peach. He was well back, as you can see here, at the, the 400 metres and uh, really closed off strongly out uh, wider. Uh, this uh, over powerful uh, wings and uh, look I think he gets his chance here again Paul even though he's got to carry the, the big weight he's in good form. Yeah definitely good form he's got a new jockey Hugh Bowman aboard and uh, look I think he's one of the main dangers so he definitely goes on and for me uh, Karis did ride him last time he's going to ride Star Contact. Who is going to come up in our replay right now in fact Paul um, are you going to follow Karis across to beat the top one home with Star Contact? No I'm going to leave Star Contact out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Coming to Shatton was was just what I, the query. I know he's won here before, but I, I just think he's been racing at Happy Valley recently and racing well. Yeah, look here, he just has no no luck at all over yeah. the, the final stages. Winning Dragons come out of this race and uh, won, but uh, he's going for the, the gap here and then everything just uh, closes up and there's uh, nothing there for him. So, look, he goes on a, a minor line and he's drawn well. War weapon, Tom. First start, 1,600 metres. We've seen him in this position at the top of the straight so many times and run home for a second or a third. Gee, the extra 200 made a difference, didn't it? Yeah, and I think maybe even the, the smaller field uh, might have uh, made a bit of a difference as well, that he just wasn't as far back as he might have been in a, maybe a 12 or 14 horse field. There was only uh, nine other rivals see, here, and he descended quickly, uh, Paul, and uh, finally broke through. He's got the lightweight here, um, which uh, isn't a bad thing either. No, it's a good thing for him, but whether he can put two, to, two together that's the query I had. He won easy enough, but this is his first win, remember. He rocketed past Young Victory at the top of the straight. Who are these selections for the last? I'm presuming, I'm, I'm, from a bit of draw, I think he's going to be in a perfect position, I'm presuming. I thought he might get first run on the best peach and happy together, who are the two main dangers, and Universal Horizon won't be too far away. 13, 1, 3 and 12. Yeah, I'm with uh, Happy Together here. I think uh, everything going right to, for uh, him. Uh, he can go close in this unlucky as last uh, tour. I didn't mind Entrusted last uh, time out. Uh, he stayed on well, was only beaten two links behind. Powerful uh, wings. Uh, the best peach and star contact at uh, one and four. But uh, three the best, seven, one and four. That's it. There's no more. Ten races, Sha Tin on Saturday. Seacourse Racing, the first at one o'clock.